Hi guys! So my Hobonichi order arrived this afternoon and I'm really excited to go through all of it with you. As you can see, I've already unboxed it because I couldn't wait to examine everything as soon as it came. So, I ordered a variety of different Hobonichi items, some of which I have never tried before. Let's start with this Mother 2 desk calendar, which I got for James because he likes calendars where you can see the whole month all in one go. This is a really cute smaller desk calendar. It's kind of like the Happy Planner desk calendar size if you've ever had one of those. And it has these adorable Mother 2 designs on it. Sundays are in red. It's a Sunday start, which I find annoying, but it's Hobonichi, so we'll live with it. Saturdays at the end of the week in blue. And it has the previous month and the following month down at the bottom, and then it has some really cute illustrations on the other side. So you can see every month is like that. And the interesting thing is that it also has the calendar repeated on the other side. So you could actually use this one if you want to have a bigger image and uh, smaller calendars, or you can use this side if you want to have it mostly be calendar. So it's kind of like two in one, so it's really cool. So this is going to go on James's desk. And then I also got a wall size version, which he is going to put on his wall above his desk so that he has two different at a glance calendars. So it has this overview here of 2022 and then also the first four months of 2023, which is cool. So it's just a really nice cute little Mother 2 calendar and then this is the wall version it's really big so I won't be able to get it all in the frame but hopefully this will give you in a bit of an idea of what it's like it's uh, erasable and it comes with these whiteboard markers so I think you can just uh, dry erase it and then rewrite over it which is super convenient so yeah you can see how massive it is it's like a3 size I think and it looks really good on the wall. We've already put it up to test it out. Okay, so then let me continue with some other interesting items that I have never had before. So this is what they call, I think, the Everlasting Paper Bag. It's basically a tote bag, and it opens up to be quite big, and it has handles, and I bought this to use for storing stickers in, because as you can imagine, I have rather a lot of stickers. And the reason that I was so taken with this is that, as some of you may have heard, one of my big all-time Hobonichi regrets is that I didn't buy the Mother 2 cast cover when it came out a few years ago. And here it is, reproduced on this. So I was really, really excited when I saw this. I've got another cast cover coming up in my haul that I will show you today as well. So that is the Mother 2 tote bag. Then I got this handkerchief, which I'm really happy about because this was a design that I kind of liked but not enough to get a techo cover in it or a week's. But I think it's perfect for a handkerchief. It's just so bright and happy and colorful and I use handkerchiefs a lot so I really like this. Now moving on to the actual planners. First up we have the long-awaited Mother 3 cast cover for the A6. So this kind of goes with my cast cover theme where I was so upset that I didn't um, buy a cast cover when the Mother 2 version came out. And at the time it was because I'd never played Mother 2 and I kind of felt like I didn't have a connection to it. And then I came to love Mother 2 just because of its associations with Hobonichi. So I really regretted that because I thought it was such a cute cover. So as soon as they came out with this, I was just like, oh my goodness, I need this. And I absolutely love it. I kind of like this one better in a way because it's yellow and the other one had a white and red theme. So I think that this is really colorful and cool and it has all of these awesome creatures. And James wants to play Mother 3, so I'll kind of follow along that with him and then I'll get to know all of these little critters. So I really like that. The one thing that I am not so keen on is the brown on the inside because I don't really like brown in general, but oh well. I love it all together. It has these little yellow bookmarks, which I do really like, so all together, very, very happy with it. And it comes with this little mirror, and the mirror has a picture of Ness on the front, which is cool, and then there it is on the back. It's kind of warped, so it looks sort of like a fairground mirror if you actually try to use it, but I think it would be great for cutting washi as well, so 
that's really cool. So I'm very, very happy with my cast cover and I'm going to put it on my A6 Stalogy, which I am using as a daily planner. So next up we have the new week's cover on cover with this beautiful design. I absolutely love this. I just thought it was so pretty as soon as I saw it and I'm going to use this with one of my weeks which I will show you in a minute. So it's just a standard weeks cover but it has this stunning design on it. So moving on, I'm saving the best for last, we have an A5 Hobonichi notebook. So I bought one of these when they first came out and it was the standard cover with the yellow on it and I liked it but I was kind of sad about the fact that it didn't have page numbers. So I wasn't going to buy another one but when they came out with this new cover design I just thought it was so beautiful that I knew that I had to order one and I thought that A5 would be good because I use A5 uh, notebooks for journaling among other sizes. So the inside is exactly the same as the standard version of these Hobonichi notebooks. It has gridded paper, it's Tomoe River paper, and the grids have four different colors so that if you wanted to divide it into sections you've got this easy kind of color coding to help you with that. So it's a really really nice good quality notebook and it has these beautiful end papers here and I just think that this cover design is so beautiful. I love it. It's very hard cardstock and it's kind of shiny as you can see, not really textured. So it, it would stand up well on its own, but you could also put it inside a jelly cover. I think that that would look really nice. So that's my Hobonichi A5 notebook. And then, as I said, last but not least, a surfeit of weeks. So what happened here was that I have fallen in love with the bow and tie weeks since last year when I got the swallows weeks and so I decided to get another one for myself to use in the same way that I have been using my swallows weeks which is I keep it by my bedside table and then if I need to write anything down at night and I don't have my other planners with me I never need to worry because I know that this bedside planner is here and I just transfer things the next day into whichever planner they need to go into. And that has worked really, really well for me. And so I decided to keep on with it this year. And I decided that every year I'm going to get a bow and tie weeks. So as soon as I saw this tiger design, I just instantly fell in love with it. And I was really excited to see where the placement of the parrots would be because some of the tigers have a parrot either on their head or on their tail. So this one, has a parrot here and then another parrot here and then it has two parrots on the back. So three of the parrots are on the tiger's head and one is on the tiger's tail and they're all in really nice places which is quite important to those of us who are into the Bowen Weeks designs because they always have this like you know little special hidden treasure. So this tiger is like kind of walking through 2022 and I just think that this is absolutely beautiful. It's a standard week, so nothing seems like it's any different on the inside as opposed to last year. I was happy to see that they still have the My 100 list, which I think is really useful. So why do I have three of these? Well, one is for me, one is for James, and one is for my best friend who I got into weeks last year. And so uh, she decided that she'd also like to carry on with them. So as you can see of these three weeks, they all have slightly different parrot placements, but they all look really good, I think. So this is James's, and he has two parrots on the tails on the front, and then only one parrot on the back, but it's on the head. So overall, he was very happy with this parrot configuration. And his 2022 also has a tiger walking through it. And then my friend's, has a tiger right in the middle of the 2022 and then it has parrot on head, parrot on head and then parrot on tail and a parrot on head like mine. I'm really really looking forward to starting on this because I have a few weeks left of my swallows weeks which I am still just as in love with as I was at the beginning of the year but I'm kind of feeling like it's time to switch over to my new weeks. Then I have two more weeks. This one is for James because he uses two weeks. So we're a total weeks family, a weeks fanatic family. One is his weekly planner and the other one is a fitness and well-being tracker. So he uses 
This one is the fitness and well-being tracker, and this one is the weekly planner. So this is a Mother 2 cover, and he really likes the Mother 2 designs. I often like them as well, but I don't really like the shiny Weeks covers. I like the textured ones. So he decided to go for this one, which is Foreside and Moonside on the back. So it's like this kind of interesting double perspective here. And it also comes with the mirror. That's four side, moon side. And then finally, we have my big experiment of 2022. This is a Nuance Weeks. So the Nuance Weeks, as I'm sure many of you know, are this relatively new model of Weeks that came out, I think for the first time two years ago. And they are made of this kind of faux leather rubbery material. It feels smooth and almost like silicone in a way. It's not at all textured. So very rubbery and bendable. And I think it's designed so that, you know, you're supposed to be able to kind of like bend it and put it in your pocket and squish it and that it will bounce back into shape. So the reason that I was drawn to this was first of all, because I love purple. And so for Hobonichi to come out with a purple planner, I was just like, oh my goodness, that has my name all over it. I also like the fact that uh, 2022 is written in gold because I think gold and purple look really nice together. On my camera it's coming up a kind of as a more of a like sort of indigo blue than it is. In real life it is a very very vibrant purple and it's very well suited to its name which is Juicy Grapes. So it does really look like a like vibrant grape juice kind of purple. So if you see here on the side it has the year uh, debossed and then it says Hobonichi on the back. So it has this really satisfying, flexible, rubbery, buttery feel to it, which I like. And I'm going to use this for my on-the-go planner. So what I used to do in my old life before COVID was I would carry my cousin around with me whenever I left the house, because usually when I left the house, I was going into work and that's my work planner. But since lockdown, I have grown unused to schlepping a whole giant rucksack full of stuff around with me and so now I'm feeling like that when we go back to teaching in person in a few weeks time I don't really want to carry my cousin around with me I'd rather leave it at home so I decided that I'm going to experiment with just having an on-the-go planner which I will put my appointments in and basically take notes when I'm outside if I need to and then come back and put them into my cousin or other relevant planner as I need to so that's a bit of an experiment and because of that, I decided that the Nuance would be good because it's particularly hard wearing and I can just throw it in my bag and not worry about it getting damaged. Now, I absolutely love the planner community because when I first mentioned a few weeks ago that I was thinking about ordering this, I got a flurry of concerned fellow planner addicts saying, no, don't order it, it doesn't lay flat. And I thought that was so sweet and touching because I just love how everyone in the pl planner community looks out for each other and that was really, really nice and I was so moved by it that, you know, people didn't want me to buy this planner that would annoy me by not laying flat. So. I kind of knew that ahead of time and I thought I was willing to risk it because I'm not going to need to work from this planner a lot. I'm not going to have it on my desk. I'm just going to have it in my bag as my on the go planner. And if I need to take it out, I'll just take it out, write something in it and put it back. So I didn't think that that would bother me and I was kind of willing to take the risk, but I appreciated everyone warning me. So when it came this afternoon, I was kind of taken aback by just how much it does not lie flat, meaning not only does it not lie completely flat but it like really does kind of just bounce straight back which is quite shocking when you're used to any of the other types of weeks because they i mean i guess you have to press it a little bit the first time you put it down but they do essentially lie quite flat and so this one by comparison is just like let's see it just bounces back um but that doesn't bother me because like i said i'm just going to take it out write in it, put it back in my bag. So I think it will be okay. But I will keep you posted on this as I start to use it. Now the last thing I wanted to show you is what it looks like with this stunning cover on cover on it because this is what I bought the cover on cover for. So I just thought that it would look really really good with the purple of the Nuance Weeks and it does and obviously I wanted it for the pen holder as well. Now the only thing that's kind of a shame about this is that with the cover on cover on it you 
can't feel the beautiful texture of the Nuance cover. So I think I might alternate back and forth and I'm also not sure about using this cover on cover when I have this as my on the go planner because I feel like it might get scuffed up and it's such a beautiful cover on cover that I don't want that to happen. So I might just experiment with this and end up not using it after all. I might save it and use it for another weeks in future that just stays in the house. So just to recap, this is my haul. Five different weeks, one A6 cover, one A5 notebook, a handkerchief, a Mother 2 tote bag, a Mother 2 desk calendar, and a Mother 2 wall calendar. So I hope that you enjoy your Hobonichi hauls if yours have arrived and I look forward to chatting with you further about all of these Hobonichis as the year goes on. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!